Hello everybody, you're here with Amber with my naughty hobby and today I want to be talking to you guys about joining uh, one of the ways that you can join hexagons or this technique will also work for granny squares. This is a afghan that I'm working on for the state fair this year and so you've probably seen a lot of posts coming from me about this blanket, you know, different um, different pictures and whatnot. So I have my completed hexagons and I've already blocked these out. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on blocking as well, but not today. So if you're all ready to start blocking your, your afghan or really anything, you're going to start off, and what's great about this one? is the design that it leaves on the other side. You don't have like this weird, curvy, turny um, look to it when you're finished. It's a very neat look. So make sure that you have the wrong side of your blanket facing you. And you're gonna start off with, I use a very long piece of yarn so I don't have to continuously be adding on another one. When you first start using it, it's a little bit tedious because you're bringing so much yarn through, but towards the end, it's nice because you'll only have one end to weave in opposed to many. And if you're anything like me, you don't love weaving ends in. Okay, so I have my long piece of yarn. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach. Now the way that I like to connect is these hexagons have in each corner two treble crochets with one chain between them. So that's always my starting point to make sure that they're gonna be lined up appropriately. So I line those up, kind of pinch them together. And then you're gonna start just sewing through the outer stitches. So if you look at the top here, here's the inside stitch and here's the outside. And on the opposite, here is the inside stitch, here's the outside. You only wanna be going through the outside stitches. So in and out of these outside only stitches. That's what's going to create the nice finished look on the right side of your blanket or whichever project it is that you're working on. Just like you're sewing up sutures, I guess. And right now I have just brought a little bit of yarn through because it's a lot more time consuming if you're gonna draw your long piece of string through every single loop. So here in just a second, I'm gonna show you what I found to be the easiest way to bring the rest of the yarn through. Corners can be a little bit tricky, but luckily, even if you don't do it perfectly, nobody's going to notice except for you. So here's the middle stitch of that top one, and it's actually already connected to this blue hexagon as well. So I'm gonna go through those stitches. And now to bring the rest of the yarn through, I gently place my hand, and you don't wanna pull too much or you're gonna cause a lot of friction. And you're gonna just draw that through. And like I said, I like to use a lot of yarn because I absolutely hate weaving ends in. We're almost to the end here. Okay. And then here is the end tail that I'll weave in when I'm finished. 
drawing through all the next stitches. So now you can start down the next side. And again, so this one's already through the middle of these two. You want it to also be through this one. So to keep it looking clean on your right side, how I accomplish this is I go back a little ways. Pull enough to pull enough yarn to go down this side as well and start the process over again. So there's those middle pieces and you can tell that they're lined up pretty nice. You can always double check this by getting your two center pieces on this side and then counting in. So those are the center. So I'm just gonna go with whoop, these two, 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 these two. Okay. Looks like I got off somewhere there. So again, this is a great way to check. I believe these Yep, and then here's my two centers. Remember to just go through the outside, the out, outside loops. If you have any questions or if you have a technique that gives a clean finished look that you would like to share, I would love to see that. Or if you just have any questions in particular, don't hesitate to message me. Thanks for watching guys and happy hooking.